So now with point of care ultrasound, and I've gone through, th this is my third device. Started with the, the GE and a Sonon. Well, they're now just expensive paperweights. I gravitated about a year and a half ago to the Butterfly IQ. And this company is really interesting. There's not enough time to describe everything about it. You can look them up on the web, butterflynetwork.com. And they, they're marketing this device primarily for COVID. But I knew right away when I saw it that it just had an awesome application. So let's, let's just see if you have disease. So. Oh, you're starting to get a little something there. Oh, keep it right there. Yep, yep. Okay. Now, so people are not gonna recognize that yet, but I did recognize you actually hit that artery. There's my common carotid. Yep. And there it is in longitudinal view. There's, yep. the, oh, there's the internal. Now I didn't get adept at that, you know, right away. Let's see if I can see any plaque. There's there's my plaque. See it? White yep. stuff popping in the popcorn. My internal carotid on the it's on the left side, the and extra on the right. The idea is, you know, okay, now you've got plaque. Well, I've got plaque. So I've not had a heart attack. So I'm secondary prevention. I take aspirin. If I didn't have plaque, the next step we would look at is the coronary calcium score. This is a lot quicker and easier and less radiation than coronary calcium score and more can lead to a quantitative exam. So I describe this as like a home pregnancy test. It doesn't tell us how much or how far along or what kind of detail behind it. it just tells us that we need to go the next step. And then the CIMT with this information, now we have the patient's attention. I think OAG in the video you sent me about him used the expression, now that I have your attention. No. And as physicians, we don't want to make our patients fearful, but in some cases we must. If we want to detect disease early, we put women through mammograms, we order PSAs on men, we do colonoscopies to detect cancer early. Why aren't we doing the same thing with arterial disease and diabetes, which are actually more common and more deadly as a group? Well, you know, well, you've talked about how slow the medical profession and the industry has become at adapting to new ways of thinking. And the surest way to slow things down is to make it economic.